All right. Give people a minute here to show up. All right, well, anyways, go ahead and uh, get on with it. So, um, <clears throat> for this, I guess, live video, I wanted to do a uh, quick update from the road. It's been a while since uh, I've talked with uh, most of you, or a lot of you at least, uh, listeners of uh, Living Under Attack and the Vanu podcast. Haven't released episodes this week yet, uh, so I certainly do uh, apologize uh, for that. But I guess, uh, what am I doing right now? Well, I um, actually just left uh, Ben Stone's house uh, in Ohio. Um, oh, probably an hour ago, and I'm currently en route to uh, southern Illinois uh, to uh, pick up some diabetes supplies and uh, stay the night uh, at our property in southern Illinois, and then I will head to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So uh, that's uh, currently what I'm doing, but uh, anyways, I wanted to apologize for the, uh, the potential bad audio coming from, uh, from the road. I'm using this uh, shitty little iPhone microphone. I bought something specifically for this purpose, but... I lost the cord in my car somewhere, and I've looked for it, but I can't find it. So hopefully uh, this will have to do. I ran a couple tests, came through okay with a little background noise, so uh, I do apologize in advance for the potential bad audio. But uh, anyways, uh, for those who haven't been, uh, you know, following uh, my journey or uh, you know, following uh, Jeremy Hengeller's uh, podcast or uh, vlogs or those sorts of things. Uh, I actually uh, loaded up all my stuff in my car, as you may be able to tell from uh, from the video here, uh, last uh, Monday, and uh, headed up to Chicago to the Liberate Your Mind tour. Uh, the event Derek Bros and uh, Miriam and uh, his folks were putting on uh, there in Chicago. Did that, and then uh, drove up to uh, st stay the night uh, there in Chicago, and then drove up to uh, Kalamazoo to meet up with Jeremy Hank Geller. Um, Okay, hey Jason, uh, audio's fine, little background noise, but it's not uh, bad. Good, good deal, that's uh, really, really terrific to hear. But uh, yeah, anyways, I uh, woke up Wednesday and uh, decided to uh, head up to Kalamazoo to meet Jeremy Hangeller, and uh, we stopped at uh, Walmart, got some supplies, then we were going to meet up with uh, fellow van nomad, uh, Christopher Grayson, uh, he's known as the uh, Wandering Agoras on Steemit. So we met up with him at uh, a local, uh, I guess, national park, a uh, small little place, and uh, we're there for about 30 minutes, and uh, wouldn't you have it, Forest Blood showed up, told us we uh, were in violation of about five different uh, ordinances, drinking in, you know, drinking in public, uh, no camping, uh, Jeremy's dog wasn't on, wasn't on his leash, uh, and all sorts of other stuff, so uh, we had to evacuate the premises there, but we, were, we had just passed the Circle Pine Center where the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest was uh, going to be held, so we stopped by there to see if we could uh, sneak in and stay the night, and we did. Uh, so we were uh, there at the fest from Wednesday to uh, to Monday, and uh, let me tell you, I mean, it was a really, really terrific event, as it always is. It always it's always better than the last. I don't know what it is, but uh, you know, uh, maybe the bonds are stronger each year. I'm not not really sure, but uh, you know, it's just uh, another incredible Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. I can't uh, you know talk highly uh, highly enough about it. Uh, actually, Brett Vinott, who was there. Uh, even uh, made the comment that uh, you know it's the most welcome he's felt at any you know Liberty Fest, and I you know share those sentiments uh, sincerely. So uh, we're there at the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest. Uh, recorded. Uh, <laughs> speaking of the content, we've been a little behind, or I've been a little behind on getting stuff out. But uh, not to worry, uh, we recorded about ten hours of content, um, about probably six or seven of those at the fest, and then we did a, a couple of recordings at uh, at Ben Stone's house. Uh, one of which he was actually on. We talked to uh, me and Jeremy talked with him for about an hour and a half, and that'll come out uh, eventually. I don't know how the hell I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> I really have no idea how I'm going to sparse these episodes out. But needless to say, I probably have uh, at least a couple, uh, a couple weeks, or maybe even a month of content uh, for for basically both podcasts. So, I guess another interesting note about the fest was there were a handful of van nomads there. So we got uh, some interviews with. Uh, with those folks, uh, Jason Henza on Fascist Book, and uh, also again Christopher uh, Christopher Grayson, uh, we had great conversations with them and about uh, you know their their lifestyles and uh, all all those sorts of things. Uh, even uh, on Sunday night, we uh, we you know did another uh, couple. <laughs> we recorded about four hours of content on Sunday night. Uh, we knew we had to do we had to get it out of the way or it wouldn't get done. So we uh, recorded um, I guess uh, one episode 
and then uh, later on, I guess later on in the evening, Prof. CJ joined us, Nick Hazelton joined us, Randy England joined us, and uh, you know we basically just podcasted the night away on Sunday, uh, and it was uh, it was great, it was uh, honestly great. So um, then I guess Monday we uh, Jeremy and I caravaned uh, over to uh, Ohio to stay at Ben Stone's for a couple days, spent uh, Monday night and Tuesday night there, and uh, obviously we're here uh, on this Wednesday. I'm I'm, I'm uh, en route to the uh, to the next stop in my travels, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, to, to, to kind of uh, just to look back on, on this past week. I mean, it's only been a week since I've been on the road. Uh, well, I guess it's been over a week now. But I spent the entire last week with Jeremy Hangeller and, uh, you know, a lot of other really terrific people. And, you know, it was funny to see, you know, people going home on Sunday and Monday and, you know, fe- feeling the, post- po- the post-fest blues right away. But uh, I'm just kind of starting to feel them because I was at Ben Stone's for a couple of days with, uh, with a couple of anarchists. So it's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> post fest post fest blues are kind of kicking in, but uh, still, like I, <laughs> still I'm going to go move in with the Venue and I'll see Kyle. I'll meet Kyle for the first time in uh, in a couple of days, and uh, I'll get to hang out with Aaron Thompson, and uh, then I'll you know hang out with some anarchists in Austin. So uh, you know this is uh, just one the end to, to one part of my journey, and uh, I guess the 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 beginning to uh, lots of uh, lots of other things, and uh, I kind of realized with. You know, this I, it's not really a lifestyle for me yet. I, I don't yeah, obviously I don't concern myself with being nomad because I just kind of you know started. I'm just traveling right now, but you know this lifestyle is pretty incredible. Uh, it really, really is. And um, I don't know the Ben and uh, Ben and Cindy Stone were just so um, you know just such great hospitality. They you know they made sure we were we were taken care of, and uh, you know it's uh, it's it's just been really really incredible. It's, it's kind of hard to put into words what this what this last week has uh, has I guess meant to me, and it, and it's not even real. My travels aren't really even over yet. Uh, this transition to my new life isn't even uh, isn't even over. So. I guess um, I don't really have uh, much else to say other than uh, lots of content is going to be coming out. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to sparse all this content uh, out across the podcast, but uh, I'm certainly going to uh, to get all of it out. And you can also hear it uh, probably sooner on the Seeds of Liberty podcast or uh, Jeremy's uh, abolitionist, abolitionist abstractions. So, yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. Uh, like I said, I'll be saying Southern Illinois tonight. And I'll be heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and then uh, I'll be finishing my trip to Austin on Friday. And uh, I'll be going through Waco, Texas on Friday, so I've already, I've already uh, set some time aside, probably an hour, to uh, you know, try to find uh, you know, where, the, where that uh, infamous location is, uh, you know, the house. And um, then uh, you know, probably record a, a vlog from there or something like that. So I just wanted to uh, get here and do a Facebook Live. I've been meaning to do that for, for the past few days or so, but uh, hadn't uh, really gotten around to it. Wanted to, to fill you guys in on uh, what's been going on. So I uh, don't have uh, much else to say. Share this video around uh, for those who may not know uh, why there's uh, no content and such. But uh, it's coming. Uh, lots of really, really incredible conversations. Uh, really incredible conversations. Uh, and I guess I'll make one note on my presentation on Saturday at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. Uh, I talked about the second realm. And, um, you know, to, to more people than I've, uh, you know, presented uh, to before. So that was, uh, that was great. And uh, throughout the day and throughout the weekend, I had a bunch of people come over and talk to me about it and, uh, you know, uh, wanting more information on how to get these set up. And uh, even uh, one of the folks, uh, one of the Van Nomads that uh, was hanging with, he's really into the idea of passes, temporary autonomous zones, and he's going to try to get these set up, uh, you know, all over the place. And uh, that's kind of how I see the future um, for, uh, for Van Nuens and for, for, freedom, for freedom pioneers. It's not uh, going to be you know, uh, like I like I said before, I don't think we're going to um, <clears throat> see the abolition of, uh, abolition of the state in our lifetime. But uh, that doesn't mean we can't uh, be free. So uh, I guess my what I'm kind of seeing develop from the new ones that I've talked to over the over this past weekend is uh, you know the development of second realms. Uh, these these tazes, you know, monthly monthly uh, maybe not freedom festivals, but freedom meetups and and uh, you know locations where people can you know travel to and, and be free. So I think that's kind of what we're going to look at. And then obviously with some tazes and permanent autonomous zones uh, laid in there, like permaculture farms and, uh, and and things of that nature. So I'm really really optimistic about this. People really dug the idea of the second realm, especially when I told them they're at one uh, when they're at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. So. There's a lot of really awesome stuff to look forward to, and uh, I guess just in regards to the overall presentations at the Midwest Peace Liberty Fest, uh, I'm seeing this shift away from kind of these grand collectivist schemes to individual solutions, whether that's mentally or uh, you know uh, direct action or anything like that. It was very much more focused on the individual 
And uh, I was really, really happy to see that because that's what I've been kind of preaching for the past three years uh, is, uh, you know, individual solutions, find freedom now. And that's the best way, in my opinion, uh, to, to really uh, grow this ideology, to attract people to it. And, uh, you know, more important, most importantly to me is, uh, you know, my, you know, we, we can be free now. So, yeah, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think there's much else. I'm about three hours away, probably three and a half hours away from, from my, uh, from my destination. Maybe if I'll go live again, if I think of some other stuff to, to talk about, but uh, I just wanted to, to fill you guys in on, uh, what I've, uh, been up to. And, uh, the fact that even though I'm a couple days behind on LUA and, uh, a day behind on TVP. Uh, there's uh, a lot of really incredible content uh, to be consumed, so uh, I'll get that out as soon as I uh, as soon as I possibly can. I'll probably spend all of Saturday and Sunday, basically just uh, you know doing podcast editing, and then spend uh, you know the next week driving for Postmates and making some money, uh, because uh, this may I, I may get back on the road quicker than I thought. Um, I guess just a, just a few words: a camping trip in uh, n the northern part of the Grand Canyon. So that might that's uh, something I'm, 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 I might do. Uh, but uh, I'll certainly keep you guys apprised. So uh, thanks, libertyandertack.com, fondingpodcast.com. Make sure to subscribe to those podcasts and keep a lookout for uh, what I've got coming out uh, in the future. And uh, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's it. Jason, we've got to record another, uh, we've got to record a Patreon exclusive for Vonnie at some point. So anyways, uh, looks like we got some, some, some other comments here. Yeah, individual solutions, Taz's freedom meetups, uh, building the second realm, it's all starting to come together and uh, gaining popularity. Yes, people are sick of being slaves. And uh, a lot of folks have been in the political crusading grind for so long. And they, uh, you know, hopefully a lot of folks are realizing that uh, that's not where, it's not uh, the best place for their time and effort to be spent. So <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, it's, it's happening and not in this uh, critical mass, you know, large scale sort of thing. I'm talking about, uh, you know, uh, us Vanuans, us Freedom Pioneers, we can be free uh, despite uh, what other people decide uh, to do with their lives. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for uh, watching, Jason, and for, for sharing. And uh, it'll be good to, to catch up with you and uh, tell you a lot of stories about uh, <laughs> about uh, you know what was uh, about the fest and uh, other adventures that uh, you know probably for security culture purposes probably shouldn't disclose over fascist books. So uh, Patreon exclusive, Patreon exclusive, I'm guessing. So, anyways, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Share it around and uh, keep a lookout for a lot of content uh, coming out in the very near future.